Good morning. So today I'm going to show you an awesome, 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 delicious recipe. And it's called Blueberry Dumpster Cobbler. And it is from Engine 2 blog. So if you go to the Engine 2 website, you can click on it. I'll put a link below and you can have this recipe. And it is awesome. And I, of course, have done my little modifications and I'll show you what I've done. So I'm going to walk you through the ingredients. It is very, very easy. So what you're going to need, now, of course, you guys know me, I double everything because it's not enough. So I've doubled this recipe. So you're going to need one and a third cup of whole wheat pastry flour, organic if possible, three teaspoons of baking powder. You're going to need, again, one and one third cup of any milk, non-dairy milk, and I'm using the organic, unsweetened, plain milk. You're gonna need some vanilla, as much as you want, and a third of a cup of maple syrup. You can also use agave, or you can use just sugar if you don't wanna use either. And then for the berries, I have a little rainbow of berries here. I've got one cup of blueberries, about half a cup of cranberries and another cup of mixed frozen berries. And these were all frozen berries. And that's all you're going to need, ingredients. So the first thing you want to do is pick your flour and your baking powder. And we're going to mix this around. Okay, and then we're going to add our milk. So let me pour that. One and a third cup of milk, and then we're going to also add the maple syrup in there. I'm going to add my vanilla. I add about a tablespoon of vanilla. Mix it up, mix it up. And then we're just going to pour it in our flour mixture. And we're going to mix it gently. Now you're going to think, wow, that looks really watery. Well, yes, it does look watery, and that's what I thought too. But stay with me here. It's going to be delicious. And you want to break up all the little flour lumps. And so I just take the back of my spoon and I just kind of push it to the edge of my bowl and that breaks them up. Okay, good enough. And then lastly, you want to add your berries. And this is two cups of berries, maybe a little more two cups and a quarter. Now my berries are frozen. If you have fresh, then be extra gentle. And that's it. Now for our dish, I have an eight by eight baking Pyrex dish, and I've got some parchment paper. And because I don't want to have to clean up the dish, I just take my parchment paper, and also this is an oil-free recipe, so, and I just push it against the edges, and I'm going to take my mixture and just pour it in. Okay. And now, we're going to bake this. 350 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes, and as you can see, it's all bubbly and delicious, and I'm gonna let this cool for about 30 minutes. So it's been cooling for about 30 to 40 minutes, and I'm going to peel away the paper. And now I'm going to cut it, and you can cut it in 
diagonal shapes, whatever you want. I like to cut it into like a bar, bar shape. So I keep them narrow. You can serve this as a breakfast with maple syrup on top or as a dessert with powdered sugar on top or just plain. And now I'm gonna just peel away. You can see the bottom, how smooth it is. And I'm just going to leave these out on the counter, and in an hour, they'll be gone.